Okay. So much feedback. Jesus Christ, you gotta hold it as still as you can. Oh, can you okay. You're the one making the sounds. There's a sound. Yeah, that's because of our furnace. Shout out, we're in the basement. We just, we don't got it. We don't got it right now. But we need to talk about our trip to the Philippines. Oh, what a dream. Filipinos. And a nightmare. <laughs> Make sure you're looking at the at the lens and not oh, the yes, uh, at screen because you're so self-absorbed. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. This video, we have plenty of videos coming up because we just took a five-week trip. And if you're hearing five weeks, if you're hearing all this sound, it's because Gigi's riding her scooter back and, so and is forth. Eli. Eli, I was gonna say Winston. Yeah, Winston's gonna be barking. Winston There's a lot on of stuff, a scooter. A lot of stuff going on in our house right now, but we're trying to make this video because we need to talk about our trip to the Philippines. Our five week trip. Where you need to go when you're there. And where you need to stay, more importantly, because if you're staying somewhere for a long time and you have kids, Very. you've gotta find the right spot. And I know it doesn't look like it, but if you had to guess, one of us is actually Filipino. And you're right, it was me. <laughs> no, it's actually Maria. She is born and raised in the Philippines. So she went home to see her family. And yeah. obviously we took advantage of we that. We had two weddings two to weddings. go to. We're making this video because if you are a person that hates hotels and you don't want to, like, you want to experience the culture, you want to experience the Filipino, the Cebuanan culture. It's Cebuano. Cebuanan. Cebuano, I don't know. Stop. Okay, whatever. You're gonna embarrass yourself. Whatever. But if you want to experience their culture, they're very like uppity. Um, and you want to stay <laughs> in an Airbnb, we got the place for you. <laughs> We've got the place we for you, it. and it is so good. But we're also gonna talk about if it's child friendly. Yes. If you got good Wi-Fi, if the toilets are good, because these are very important very things to important. consider, especially if you're a first world gal or guy and you're not used to, you know, Her, being in me. a developing not country. Me, like, I rough our it out, kids. Brother. Our I rough it out. Okay. Pissed if we're not in focus, which we probably aren't. How Damn. can you not tell? I can't you see. were just there. Because I wasn't we I wasn't focus. there. Okay, hey guys. Okay, so first up, we're going to talk about the aesthetics of this place. First of all, can we say where it was? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, so we are in pretty much the heart of Cebu City. Yep. And we love how close it is to all the landmarks that you want to hit when you're in the city of Cebu. You want to see the views of the ocean. You want to see the views of the city. It's there. And it's there. Especially when you have kids, you want to be close because there's a lot of traffic. Literally everything was five minutes away. You need a McDonald's, five minutes away. You need Ayala, five minutes away. You need SM City, five minutes away. Listen. Close to IT Park yeah. where all the restaurants and party stuff, if you're into that. We are not anymore, yeah. unfortunately. Our second point is the aesthetics. Neutral, pleasing, nothing too crazy and out there. It was clean. What floor was it? 20th floor, so 20th we were in the floor. lofts with two stories. <clears throat> um, the only thing that I don't like about it being two stories was because we have a toddler that yeah. can't really understand rules yet, <clears throat> which is Eli. He's only a, a year old, so he likes to go up and down stairs a lot. He was, he, we had to block it off. Which, we had to block it off with luggage, which yeah. is very But other ghetto. than that, like it was beautiful, like floor to ceiling windows, oh, two yeah. stories worth of windows. The like, lighting that comes it in. It was so beautiful. And all of the, the bedrooms had city views, but the windows in there as well. Like, and they have blackout curtains in case you're jet yeah. lagged like yeah. us and you want to sleep in during the day. And then when you open it up, it's just amazing views. Beautiful You views. can see the ocean. So much sun. Next up is the amenities. Yes. So they've got a gym, a full gym. Yep. They've got a pool yep. that was stunning. It was an infinity, an infinity pool. pool. Yeah. yeah. And it was a long pool as well. It was a long pool. So if you want to do some laps, you could also book it off for parties yep. and events. You just got to talk to the staff. Yep. They also had a business center. So if you had work to do, there was a center specifically for that. And more importantly, 24 hour security. Yes. Always there, always there, making sure the right people are coming in so that you're, you're safe at all times. Yeah. Even um, the parking lot yes. has security, security, so you'll never have to worry. Yes. And they also had a function room. So if you want to book a party there, if you are going there like me to visit family and do you want to throw a birthday party or whatever, like a despedida or something, you could 
throw it all there and it's gorgeous the building is stunning very nice their lobby is beautiful so sleek. this specific unit by itself had two bedrooms two bedrooms and then two living rooms sort of with a pull-out couch if you have a lot of people so if you're planning girls trip boys trip there's a lot of rooms both bedrooms have king beds yep. as well if you're staying long enough you can request one round of cleaning that yes, they can do which was for so free clutch. also they had a washer dryer mm -hmm. which was also very clutch because yep. when you're packing for five weeks you've got a lot of clothes another point is the host she was amazing she was great. She's she was so friendly. So responsive. Yes, yeah, so responsive. You'll text her in the middle of the night and she'll be like, I'm on it first thing in the morning. I'm 10 minutes away. I'm going to come fit. Honestly, she was working hella overtime. I hope she is getting paid yeah. for she the deserves services. deserves every single cent. We had an issue with leakage in the bathroom on the first day. So she came in right away herself and herself. fixed it. Everything, every issue was so quick to be fixed. We didn't get the impression that we were bothering her. Wi-Fi, like we said, very important. So my mom had to work. So I, before I even booked this place, I had to make sure they had quick Wi-Fi yeah. because that's something that's been an ish, an ongoing issue in the Philippines. Usually the Wi-Fi can be spotty in certain places, but we had zero issues yeah. with their Wi-Fi. It was so quick, so fast. Yeah, it was very similar to like being home. So it was very good. Yeah. And then another very important point as a first world people, the bathrooms were awesome. Water pressure was awesome. Oh, yeah. And it wasn't cold water. They had water. the days. We had an issue at our house where we had to only shower with cold water for a bit. So we were using buckets preparing for the Philippines. And, and this tabo, was not tabo. it. This was yeah. not it. This, this, was, this was hot My dad water. was like, get the kids used to it. Just, yeah. you know, dive into it because yeah. that's going to be the culture in the philippines was not we, the case the water pressure was amazing toilets were flushing yep. toilet paper towels yeah. everything that you could need they had it otherwise it was amazing in terms of showers very clean no roaches no roach in terms of your favorite points about this airbnb what was your favorite thing about it i love the aesthetics of it and most importantly i love the proximity to everything like yeah. you were right in it all across yeah. a seminary yeah it so was... you know you're being prayed for um you? it was same thing same thing closeness to everything like if i needed to get something quick because obviously when you're traveling you don't have everything you're gonna need something like on the go ayala was right there if you wanted a meal grab would grab get there everywhere. in like 20 30 everything minutes everything was so fast but by the time you were done placing your order you had a few minutes and the guy's like oh i'm almost there and it's 24 7 service so it's you couldn't ask for anything better yeah. than that. Especially, like I said, with little kids, you want to be close to everything just in case of emergencies, in case you need to buy diapers, in case yeah. they get sick, you want to be close to the pharmacies. Yeah. This was perfect. It was really yeah. perfect. The TV, was, my... TV was smart, so you had no all the access to YouTube, Disney, all that kind of stuff for the kids. So that's another thing that was awesome. And the beds were very comfy. What was your um, negative? Negative would be the stairs. In yeah. terms of like having kids and stuff, it was just tough with the stairs because he just wanted to be all over those things all the time and it was hardwood floors and stuff so if he did fall he get pretty messed up mine was probably the ac placement in the master bedroom very, on the main flo floor it was right above the bed for some reason i don't know why they made it like that so the ac would the air would just blow straight yeah. down on you. Other than that, it's that that's just a You know your thing. first world when you're complaining it's too cold and like when it's like 40 degrees outside, yeah. you know what I mean? So other than that though, everything in this Airbnb was awesome. Would highly recommend it. And we loved it so much. All right guys, so thank you so much for watching. Um, stay tuned, we got a lot more stuff that we're gonna go over from our five And we're weeks. lagging, cause we're jet lagging. If you are heading to the Philippines soon, make sure that you really pay attention, especially if you have kids because we did it all and there was definitely places that were our favorites and definitely places that weren't really weren't, our weren't favorites it, weren't it in us. terms of being which parents, would be favorites young, for a lot of kids. people it would be favorites for a lot of people but yeah because really a lot of single us. you know or Shargao, childless couples go to the philippines <sighs> yeah exactly so bahal Shargao, negros cebu we've got it bantayan that's part of cebu baby no, it's a different island. It's still part of Cebu province. So shout out to Bantayan. We've been there. Yeah, and check that. out check out our older videos as well. 
um, where we went to uh, all the other places. The only place that we haven't been is Ireland. Follow on. Oh, Check out what? our other videos in the Philippines. We've been to the. We did the whale sharks. We did. Oh, that's Canyon old. Aaron. But you're talking about know, way back. Done it. Or you want to see some cringy shit? That Very we used cringy, to do. guys. We used to. That, that was when we editing. first started making videos. <laughs> and uh, there's one song. I don't know why. It's like something like a waterfall. I don't know why I chose it. <laughs> because there was waterfalls in. Um, oh, um, Kawasan. Kawasan. Okay, why do you yeah. have to say it like that? Because just say Kawasan. <laughs> it's so Filipino. Okay, regardless. It's Kawasan. I don't get it. Thank you guys so much. You watching. said it the exact same way as me. I said Kawasan. Whatever. Thank you guys so much Kawa for watching. Kawasan. We'll see you later. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. See you in the next video.